Hello everyone, in this video I want to talk about uh, content marketing strategy and my point of view of how to develop a uh, marketing strategy and how there are like actually uh, there are already some businesses developing different strategies on the digital world and I want to talk about the one that I consider it will be like the doctor strategy so I will call why I call it like this and if we do like a self-analyze or something, because I sometimes do it for myself, or if you go and think about anything not related to health, but when you go to Google and when you Google, there is already one quote that I read, uh, Googling symptoms just tell you which disease uh, already has a better uh, sale and which uh, page is actually the one that has very sale for the certain type of disease and problems and it will be that case of these content doctor strategies or I would call it for any other business not related to the health industry but and I will show it in the screen when you the amount of search that health related topics have in comparison to other business um, now you probably you can see if you relate this kind of thinking to another business, this could be also another option of thinking on content strategy and also the sales strategy. Because when thinking, okay, in general terms of digital marketing, we have the content marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, and also social selling. And there are like these different options that, okay, we cannot just like go and specify, okay, this is the best and perfect strategy, no. There are several, and this is the good thing I think about um, about digital marketing and content marketing strategy that you can try, and the uh, A/B testing is good for trying content marketing. And if we relate this doctor strategy to your own business, then you can see it like, okay, I'm a doctor for many people, and I'm trying to solve people's problem. And if I will relate it, okay. Let's take an example like general business uh, software that might be called uh, ERP or CRM or any other related uh, software for businesses. And actually, if you compare, and I will put it here in the screen, and you can use either Keyword Research or Neil Patel's Uber Suggest or many other research tools. And I'm showing when you compare ERP with, for example, Excel or many other most, I think Excel is more the most known software for making spreadsheets, but also like for doing this, um, the peaceful basic stuff and creating and using the templates inside the Excel for managing our businesses. And if you already know that ERP systems are good, they help you to automize uh, the business processes and so on. Why still people like searching for Excels like in this a big amount of, of traffic and not ERP system that they tend to be uh, better or they help you? And that's the part where I think it comes up this doctor content marketing strategy or idea. Because if people start to aim for reaching out like, and this is a, a tip that I say that like, if you aim for uh, spreadsheets there are like for points of sale systems or for inventory management or any more other related stuff like regarding to business in general then you might start to attract this part of pulling and it's also another part of marketing strategy the pulling strategy from the things that people already know and they are already searching and moving them to better and even more efficient ways of working so which are one of the steps that we could do? Okay, analyze what is your business. Here I already talked about probably ERP systems, CRMs or so on. But for example, if you're a, I don't know, restaurant consulting business and if you're trying to aim to, for more restaurants, more leads and okay, how many people are searching for, I don't know, restaurant consulting and I will put it here on the screen, the number. And now if we compare the number of let's say, I don't know, what may, what could be the main problems of a restaurant owner or what are they trying to look? 
So probably if we start to attempt not only from the recipes, I would say, and if we start aiming like for the recipes and if you start to point yourself like a big expert on recipes, just giving up a, here a topic, then we can start also this slightly and slowly pulling technique also in video, in video YouTube strategy or so on, not only on the social media marketing, that that one I could consider it myself more of a push strategy rather than pull. I prefer pull strategies. But this is another part of creating yourself a brand awareness and still creating this lead generation, trying to push and position it yourself as a thought leader, so I can say. And by pulling and bringing out people from the main topic to the topic or the, the things that you're selling and the ones that you're actually good at and that people can see that okay this is even better than the things that I already know. Try to go to what already people is talking and searching and try to aim for that and I will show you here uh, another example of WISE. Uh, actually when I was like searching for inventory management spreadsheets curiously I just found um, the, this page about the inventory management what does has to be done with like related with transfer wise or cult wise with um, spreadsheets and well that's part of a content marketing strategy that if you start to aim for things that people are already looking for and they just found gold <laughs> even if they were like looking for copper let's say this is one another of ways of showing okay here's what you're looking for you're looking for inventory management spreadsheets but if you're if for any given reason you are looking and aiming for these kind of topics so you will hear <laughs> there is like good transfer or like affordable transfer cheaper than banks so this is a part of the what i say it's like the doctor's content marketing strategy you're trying to solve the problem that people are already looking for even if it's health or it's money transfer uh food recipes or even the ERP CRMs or something related to inventory management. But try it for yourself, actually for myself and for my blog, I'm just creating also new blogs oriented to, for the most researched terms. So in my blog, I can see that the numbers are slowly growing. So, so I hope that um, this opinion helps you if you're also aiming for content marketing strategies. And thanks for watching. Don't hesitate to write on the comments if you like. Thank you.